Push me over the edges. One of surfing's very few arenas. It's pretty tough to come from you know, Bells straight to Tahiti. It's the exact opposite. It's warm, it's a laugh, it's really hollow. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta bring you know different stuff in Bell, you know, bigger boards and probably more boards definitely and you gotta have your equipment because you never know what's gonna happen here, I guess. You just need a couple of quick good surfs, you know, to kinda of get get I guess to get the tube stance ready again. But um Definitely coming from Bell's, kind of going from the, the fattest right-hander in the world to the followers left in the world. It's uh, definitely a contrast. You just got to be, um, you know, hungry to get the meanest barrel ever. You know, you got to be prepared to spit blood pretty much to, 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 to do well. This has got to be the most amazing arena in surfing, especially for when it is bigger. The boats are just there. Everyone's out there having the most amazing time as when you're pulling in the barrel, you're looking at your friends as you're coming out, kind of like laughing. It's you're making full eye contact, and um, you really feel the energy of the people when you come out of the, like those really good waves. And I don't know, it's there is a little bit of pressure, but I guess it's like everyone in Tahiti is so happy. It's like why not just pile out there and just have a good time.
To do an air, oh, a reverse, oh. a 360, and then ride him backwards. Good oil, our team. Who we got? Cans and beef. They got good oil and low. Sweet. <laughs> me and here are team captains. My team consists of me, Snake Man, Klaus Dog, Feed, Cans. Ron. And Ron Dog. Closing team, here is the captain. It's uh, Loz Dog, Good Oil, uh, Stedzy, who else? And Mitchell Ross. I think that's it. Every day that I live, I get older, and every day I get older. Never got the weight of the world on my shoulder. Only got the fire in my heart. Yeah, take me through to you. I wanna get through to you tonight. Thanks, I can't. No. Things in the morning, hoping it's you calling up with a warning. Trying too hard. He's rattled. Like the seasons, believing is all we can do. Ain't nothing. Struggling a little bit here. Wait, good old car. Uh, gates quicker than far lap. Yeah. Finished his arm. Uh, four maneuvers quicker than ever. 
and um, and now we seem to have hit the brakes a little bit. Oh. So Ron needs to do a reverse. So you guys are and a bit ahead. A no, he does a reverse or a chop off. A chop off. This is close then. Yeah, yeah it's, it's real tight. Nice. It's tight now. Might not uh might get a cheeseburger out of it. <laughs> We need Ron to do a spin, reverse, reverse and then right away backwards. But I think Snake has to do a 360. Snake and an air. Go, Snake. Yeah. Kill him. Oh. 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 Air, go. Yes. Oh. Right when he hits that lip, I bet sure he gets in the air. Yeah, that's it. So close. Ronnie and Jake both need to do backwards and then we won. Pretty bummed because um, I've now got to spend a small fortune in cheeseburgers down the street. Oh, did you bring any money? He's <laughs> paying. <laughs> cheeseburgers all round. Victory sweet. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? <laughs> It does change your whole trip because you, you are, you're always picturing the, the big chopu. But most of the time it's not going to be that way in the contest. Sometimes out there, the biggest wave isn't always the best wave.
Sometimes you're sitting in a barrel and you look out and you can just see all the boats and mountains, all that kind of stuff. It's definitely a, uh, a weird feeling because it feels like everyone's looking in at you and you're like mouse trapped in a hole. Pissed. I lost, I got interference, I got hassled. Um, no waves came, I mean, it's pretty bad to eat. Everybody scream my name, yeah, go ahead, you go, 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 and it's just go and make it. Oh, it's a good feeling. I'm very happy. Let's cry one moment in the, in the water when I finish the hit. Just fucking cry a little bit. Oh shit. What? I win. I win. Yes. Oh, so happy. People start screaming from the boat, and you know your heart starts racing because there's swells coming, and you know it's like if you if you need a score and there's 10 seconds left, and you have like this solid six footer in front of you, you know you're going. Shotgun me and blew me like that. I was like, he's like, ah, oh, sorry, dingo. I was like, oh, yeah, no worries, mate. You know? <laughs> but he thought he'd won, you know. And they said I won, and I didn't really hear it. And then they said it again, and then they said, <laughs> and I didn't really hear it again because everyone was hooting, and he was still stoked and thought he'd got through. And then they said it again. I was like, no, hang on, I got, I won. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I won. <laughs> I think wave selections in a main event, it's really, really important because um, I think tactical, it's more important in the main event because everybody have good experience and when they make the heat, it's because they choose the right wave. Uh, my next quarters, I got Hita Teronatufa and he's definitely going to you know, be a force to reckon with. You know, I've been watching him throughout this whole event. and. You know, he's just been surfing really good. He's been upsetting a lot of guys and and looking like he, he belongs on the CT. So I'm not going to take him lightly. I'm, I'm just going to throw everything I got at him. I know it's going to be a you know a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. He got a waves at the back and then he get the score so I think the chance was on each side. So I'm really happy. Not disappointed at all. 
it's like kind of like a stadium, surfing stadium. It's everything right there, it's that close, and, and you can come out and run people over. I mean, the only person that really hasn't surfed it much is Bobby, and he's, you know, he's doing great. Misfortunately, um, Adrian Buckin and a few other CT guys were injured this year, and out of nowhere, they're like, yeah, you're in the main event, and I'm just like, holy shit, and now, next thing you know, I'm in the quarterfinals, and I have a chance to win the contest, so I'm just like, it's on. The next size up at Chopo is about perfect four to six foot. I think that's when it's the best. It's, it's when it's the funnest. You can get the deepest in the barrel and it's not totally death defying. No real diagnosis at this point. It's just you know if I uh, if you know if I'm not. I mean it was really hard to paddle, and uh, so if, if I'm feeling that way, I probably wouldn't go to Fiji if I feel that way a week from now. Probably one of the um, craziest ways we got, but you know I'm gonna go into my heat as I would go into a normal heat, you know, and um, just look for a good wave and hopefully find one and, and try not to fall. Pipeline, you can stand on the beach and you basically feel the mist of the sets coming through. You can feel the rumble of the of the rocks and you, you feel the, the power and you know you actually feel Mother Nature and this is the only place like it where where you're standing there and, and you feel like you're sitting out in the lineup with some of the surfers. It's pretty cool. The only competitor you have in mind is, is the ocean, I think, you know. Um, anyone can lose, anyone can beat anybody, it's it's anyone's game, you know, in any contest and you know, it's just gotta compete with what you're gonna what the ocean's gonna provide if you can get a good wave or not and uh, that's about it.
Sir Fred Red, your last ride is 7.9. Seven. Winning the heat and the final. Right here, Freddie Patasha and Bobby Martinez shaking hands. Haruru Alofiidi, thank you very much for having me here. It's been great.